uh, yes so today's session is going to consist of many questions from algebra we are going to understand the concept of algebra first of all and then we will be doing many questions from this chapter so let's get started so first uh, a quick go through about algebra what is algebra so basically algebra has been the talk of the town since long uh, like we have made so many memes on it also so what is it all about देखो एल्जेब्रा क्या है ना इट इज अ ब्रांच ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स ठीक है ब्रांच ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स मतलब मैथ्स के फिर और भी बहुत सारे पार्ट्स होते हैं क्या हाँ बिल्कुल बहुत सारे और भी पार्ट्स होते हैं एल्जेब्रा जैसे होता है तो एल्जेब्रा के अलावा और भी क्या पार्ट्स आपने पढ़े हुए हैं या देखे हुए हैं जैसे अर्थमैथिक मैंसुरेशन जेमेट्री एंड ऑल सो इन एल्जेब्रा यू आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द नंबर्स which do not have their own value it consists of some letters and symbols along with some uh, some numbers which are also known to us you know so it's like harry potter movie some mysterious things are there which we have to find out yeah cool chalo so have you seen this kind of painting yeah you must have made it in art and craft classes aisa bhi kuch banaya hoga hai na to yahan se hum kuch ek example lene wale hain math stick painting se तो क्या करने वाले हैं हम इस पर्टिकुलर एक्टिविटी में अगर हमारे पास मैथ्स टिक्स हैं तो हाउ कैन वी यू नो लर्न एल्जब्रा थ्रू इट देखो अगर मुझे सिर्फ एक स्क्वायर बनाना है सो हाउ मेनी मैथ्स टिक्स आई एम गोइंग टू रिक्वायर फोर इफ आई नीड टू मेक टू स्क्वायर्स विच आर अबाइडेड विद ईच अदर आई वुड नीड सेवन मैथ्स टिक्स करेक्ट इफ आई हैव टू मेक three uh, square boxes then we die i would be needing 10 so this is kind of a pattern so what is a pattern which is going on here 3n plus 1 so if if i have to make supposedly five squares so 3 into 5 15 plus 1 that's 16 math tricks now let's quickly go through about some real life applications of algebra so real life applications of algebra is very 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 prominent thing everybody should know it uh, if you if you guys are learning any particular topic you should always uh, relate it with your real life because when you relate it with your real life it becomes way more easier to understand the first use of algebra in your real life would be algebra and technology so technology and algebra goes hand in hand so whatever you see computer games mobile phones car softwares and and mechanics you are going to see algebra all throughout it is all made possible because of algebra so in algebra specific numbers are replaced by the symbols so while playing a computer game you see a character that character is nothing but a string of symbols also a set of rules are followed to make symbols interact in right way which also requires algebra correct so what else are the uses of algebra you might have uh, definitely cooked or some or the other thing in your life if you are not a good cook then you might have cooked at least maggi so you 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 know the proportion if you need to make maggi for one person you are going to take one packet of maggi and simple one glass of water but if the number of people is going to increase then the proportion will increase automatically you would require maybe three packets of maggi for three people and three glasses of water for that uh, particular three packets of maggi so that's very very simple algebra goes hand in hand with cooking also so uh, you you uh, you need to have the knowledge of algebra then we got to have algebra and sports associated with each other algebra is used in sports intentionally and unintentionally both a sports analytics department works on data like player form weather conditions home ground or foreign ground and many more that are quite similar to algebra variables using your algebraic expression the possibility of who are having the higher chances of winning is being predicted correct now what footballers calculate the force and the distance as to score a goal particular goal right basketball players calculate the trajectory to score a particular point cricketers are able to hit the sixes only because they are able to calculate the force required to hit that particular ball what are the other uses of algebra algebra and business are very prominent with each other they are very 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 important uh, in our life a business owner makes use of algebraic operation to calculate the profit or losses which are being incurred it is also used to calculate the lowest price at which an item can be sold to still cover the expenses 
Businessmen also use algebra to decide whether a piece of equipment does not lose its worth while it is in the stock. Now let's quickly go through what are the important terms in the chapter. If I come up to your algebra, you are having the first way very very important uh, word that is called as variable. What is exactly all about variable when it comes to your algebra? Okay, then you all can see this uh, tree, right? In this tree, there are so many leaves. Being its natural tendency, it is going to form new leaves and it is going to definitely uh, fall out, uh, uh, out of this particular tree, some or the other, every single moment, every single second, right? It is not in our hand. Even if we try to even count, it is going to do that same natural thing, like fall out and then growing the new leaves. So, you cannot count the number of leaves on the tree. So that is variable for us, which keeps on changing. Can you count the number of hairs? No. It keeps on changing over the period of time. So what is variable? Variable refers to some unknown quantities that can change or vary and are represented using the lowercase letter of English alphabet. From A to Z, all the lowercase alphabets are variables. These are the symbols which we use. So the value of variable A can be any number which we have to find out. That's why it is variable. And that's it is all about algebra, finding the value of variable. Okay. So if I have a question like this, rule which gives the number of matchsticks required to make the matchstick pattern L. So if I have to make the matchstick pattern L, L say mat, L banana hai matchstick se. So how many sticks do I need to make a uh, two, right? So what will be the pattern, general pattern? 2M, correct? If I have to make 10 Ls out of matchsticks, then the pattern would be 2 into 7. If 7 Ls we require, that's 17 sticks. So what is the pattern of making C? So in order to make C, we need three matchsticks. So the general pattern is going to be 3N, correct? Similarly for F, it is going to be 4N. It is going to be 4N, right? And for I, it's way very simple, just 4N, right? So it's very simple. Now the next part has come to you, it's regular pentagon. So what will regular pentagon ka perimeter? Kya ho 5I, right? Very, very simple. Now let's move on to the next part of the session where we are going to learn some amazing questions of the same chapter. I think that you will have basics clear. Basics are a very important role play karte in our life. Mein. If your basics are very, very clear, you are very much sorted. Okay, so if your basics are clear, you don't have any problem with questions to solve and even handle them. Okay, so I will give you a few questions that will be more confident that we can do some questions from ourselves. So it is very important that you have a confidence that you can solve the questions, right? And before I give you any question solution, I want you all to calculate your answers on your own. Like without my help. It is going to give you that boost which everybody needs. So everyone needs a boost for which we so I will do one thing, I will show you questions and you will solve the questions first. I will give you help from okay? This is going to actually help you in uh, getting that boost. So the first question is on your screen. I would like you all to calculate your answers and let me know it in the comment box. Okay? Comment and tell me that I will put a two-minute timer. Okay, so as the question says, 2x minus of 3. 2x minus 3 can be expressed how? See, Ram's age is 3 years less than Shyam's age. If Shyam's age is, uh, you know, maybe any age, then Ram age is what? 3 years less than that twice of Shyam. So if Shyam age is X, then twice of Shyam would be 2X. And Ram's age is 3 years less than that. So minus of 3. Quite very simple, right? Hena easy. 
अब हम चलते हैं टूवर्ड्स द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ द डे हियर इट इज तो ये एक स्टेटमेंट दे रखा है यहाँ पे ऑपोजिट है अभी मैं स्टेटमेंट दे रही हूँ आपको अब इससे आपको बनाना है अपना न्यूमरिक एक्सप्रेशन ठीक है ट्राई करो देखो बहुत सिंपल होता है ये सिर्फ एक कहने की बात है बहुत ही रॉकेट साइंस नहीं है एवरी बॉडी कैन डू इट I'm just giving you two more minutes just to calculate. Now I hope you guys might have calculated. So the sum of three times x and eleven is thirty-two. So you have to form up the equation out of it. So three times of x that is three x and the sum of it with eleven. So three x plus eleven is thirty-two. So three x plus eleven is equals to thirty-two. That's a very simple part. Yeah. I hope you got the answer. Yeah. Now let's move to the next question. Here you have to form the equation out of it, like in the previous question. So try doing it. I'm here. Come on. If you subtract five from six times the number, you get seven. I just want your answers in the comment. No need to just worry about it. You can pause the video also and then give the answers. If you subtract five from six times the number, you get seven. That means. Uh, Any number, let's suppose that is x. Six times of it would be six x. Then you're subtracting five from it. You are going to get seven. Simple, sorted, right? Easy peasy. Hmm. Chalo. Agla question. The present age of Aradhana and Adrika is in the ratio three is to four. Five years back, the ratio of their ages was two is to three. What is the present age of Aradhana? This is a question which is very very simple. देखो बहुत आसान है आई जस्ट वॉन्ट यू ऑल टू कैलकुलेट इट ऑन योर ओन बिकॉज इट्स ऑल मैटर वेन यू आर सॉल्विंग इट मैं तो हेल्प करने के लिए हूँ बट आई ऑलवेज बिलीव वेन यू सॉल्व इट ऑन योर ओन यू आर गेन द अलग लेवल का कॉन्फिडेंस विच आई वॉन्ट यू ऑल टू डेवलप ऑन योर ओन So I have given you sufficient time. Let me give you the answer for this question. So basically, age of Aradhana and Adrika is in the ratio which is given. So whenever the question says that the answer is in terms of ratio, please, please always remember the trick that you have to convert it in terms of x. So let the present age of Aradhana be three x and let the present age of Adrika be four x. As simple as that. In that own uh, contradiction. Then it says that five years back. Five years back means five साल पीछे. What would be the age of Aradhana? Three x is the present, so five साल पहले. Three x minus five. As simple as that. Similarly, Adrika's age five years back would be four x minus five. Now the question says, ah, uh, like five years back, the ages ratio was two is to three. So the age of Aradhana is three. X minus five and Adrika is four x minus five and the ratio is two is to three so we compared it and when you are going to just solve it the equation which we have got here you are going to get the value of x and if you got the value of x you can easily find the present ages of our Adrika and Adrika. Our Adrika was three x so x is five so three into five that's fifteen years very very simple and clear. Let's move to the next question of the day, and here it is. I'm giving you just uh, two, three minutes to solve this, and solve it on your own. You'll get the confidence, right? Solve it. I am giving you time. No issues with the time. You can just also pause the video if you find the time is less, which I am giving you. Always do that.
anyways let's move on to the solution part of this particular question so let's understand the first question if the total ages of Iqbal and Shikhar is 12 years more than the total age of Shikhar and Charu Charu is how many years younger than Iqbal let's quickly solve this so basically in this we are going to let the age of Iqbal be x Shikhar's age would be y and Charu's age would be z so according to the question it says that the age of Iqbal and Shikhar the sum of them and we are going to find the difference of them the age of Shikhar and Charu would be 12 so just form of the equation you are going to get the value of x minus z which is saying that Charu is 12 year younger than Iqbal next question on your screen giving you two minutes solve this on your own come on it, it's a very simple question you can just take the time and solve it on your own get yourself ready to solve this amazing question let me give you the solution uh, in a while but always remember maths is all about solving and practicing and having the confidence because uh, without these three you cannot conquer maths ठीक है सबसे पहले आपको अपना कॉन्सेप्ट स्ट्रॉन्ग करना है समझो फिर प्रैक्टिस करो और अपने अंदर कॉन्फिडेंस लाओ बिकॉज विदाउट दैट यू कैन नॉट अचीव एनीथिंग इन मैथ्स स्पेशली तो इट्स अ वेरी वेरी बेसिक थिंग जो आपको हमेशा ध्यान रखनी चाहिए ठीक है मतलब ये हमेशा एक 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 थम रूल रहा है मैथ्स में किसी ने भी अगर मैथ्स में अच्छा किया है तो वो ये बेसिक रूल रहे हैं कि आपको पहले कॉन्सेप्ट पे कॉन्कर करना होता है कॉन्सेप्ट को अनकर्ज करने के बाद आपको बहुत अच्छे से प्रैक्टिस करनी होती है जिसकी वजह से आपको कॉन्फिडेंस आता है तो ऑल थ्री ऑफ देम आर वेरी मच कनेक्टेड एक भी स्टेप मिस किया तो दोनों बेकार है मान लो कॉन्सेप्ट अच्छा है आपने प्रैक्टिस नहीं की तो कॉन्फिडेंस ही नहीं आएगा मान लो आपने प्रैक्टिस अच्छे से करी कॉन्सेप्ट अच्छे से किया बट कॉन्फिडेंस नहीं है तो आप परफॉर्म नहीं कर पाएंगे मान लो कॉन्फिडेंस है आपने प्रैक्टिस नहीं करी तो उस कॉन्फिडेंस का कोई मतलब नहीं तो तीनों को सिंक्रोनाइजेशन में ले जाना पड़ता है ठीक है तो अभी मुझे लगता है टाइम काफी दे दिया इस क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व करने के लिए लेट मी सॉल्व दिस फॉर यू ऑल अ फादर इज ट्वाइस एज ओल्ड एज इज डॉटर इफ ट्वेंटी इयर्स एगो द एज ऑफ द फादर वॉज टेन टाइम्स द एज ऑफ द डॉटर वॉट इज द प्रेजेंट एज ऑफ द फादर इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल थिंग प्रेजेंट एज ऑफ द फादर इज टू एक्स ठीक है प्रेजेंट एज ऑफ द डॉटर इज एक्स सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द क्वेश्चन टू एक्स माइनस ऑफ ट्वेंटी वुड बी इक्वल्स टू टेन टाइम्स ऑफ एक्स माइनस ऑफ ट्वेंटी दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन विच वी हैव फॉर्म सो टेकिंग द वेरिएबल टर्म्स ऑन द वन साइड सो टेन एक्स माइनस टू एक्स एट एट एक्स देन वी आर गोइंग टू टेक दिस टू हंड्रेड माइनस ऑफ ट्वेंटी दैट्स वन एटी सो x will be 180 upon 8x that's 22.5 and if the value of x is 22.5 then the value of the present age of the father would be 22.5 into 2 because that was two times of that x so that is 45 years simple hai na last question of the day i hope you are going to crack this um meri laddu i would like you to connect to me ठीक है आई वुड लाइक यू टू कनेक्ट टू मी जल्दी से सॉल्व करना है ना ना आई नीड यू हेल्प Okay, let me start the solution part of this particular given question. 
so here arun is 2 years older than bharat who is twice as old as charat if the total age of arun and bharat and charat be 27 then how old is bharat so let the present age of charat be x then present age of bharat would be two times of that charat that is 2x arun's present age would be two times of of x plus of two years that is very simple and the sum of their ages is 27 so x plus 2x plus 2 plus 2x will be equals 27 so adding all the x's together you get 5x plus 2 which is equals 27 so 5x is equals to 25 hence x is equals to 5 so if x is equals to 5 then the two times of x uh, that is 5 is equals to 10 years simple finished done sorted khatam ho gaya so that is all for the day i hope you all had fun today थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस अमेजिंग वीडियो एंड बिल्कुल आज का सेशन यहीं तक था एंड देर इज वन इम्पॉर्टेंट अनाउंसमेंट दैट अन अकेडमी इज ऑफरिंग यू फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट डिस्काउंट ऑन योर सब्सक्रिप्शन सो इफ यू हैव एन गेट इट येट देन गो ग्रैप द ऑफर एंड डो नॉट फॉर गेट यू यूज माई कोड एटी थ्री फोर फॉर दैट दैन लेट्स एंड द सेशन नाउ या ठीक है चलो फिर बाय बाय कर लेते हैं बाय बाय गाइज विल सी यू नाउ इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन टेक केयर बाय बाय